So I have a very interesting uh, story here. Animal striking back. We have long maintained that the animals are trying to take back the earth, and they're using our own uh, inventions and things against us. Animals will turn on us and take back the, the, the globe. And now I've got a couple of different stories. One of them is from Southern California, and another one is from New Jersey. So now they're bi-coastal. Okay. These are the okay. same kind of a same animal, same kind of story, and now they're taking a new uh, approach. Unbelievable. Yes. Kamikaze squirrels. Now, what? When, now listen, when I say kamikaze squirrels, no. I know what you're saying. You're saying, you know, Banzai! Kamikaze. They go one step. This is the squirrel bumping it up a notch. Not only are they kamikaze squirrels jumping down on you, these kamikaze squirrels that I'm talking about have one distinct difference, my friends. These kamikaze squirrels are on fire. <laughs> what? what? They're on fire! You mean someone lights them on fire and throws them? No, no, oh. no! A New Jersey woman's Toyota Camry last week suffered a kamikaze attack from a flaming squirrel. Hmm. Gay? Huh? It's a gay squirrel. No! Oh. <laughs> the squirrel was on a power line. Oh my damn! And the squirrel gnawed a little bit too uh. close and kind of, you know, yeah. and, and caught on fire. Did he make that noise? Fell down onto her vehicle. <laughs> so he wasn't really flying through the air. Well, he was. He was kind of like a... <laughs> he was a flaming squirrel in the sky, right? <laughs> Power lines put a squirrel to the test. We got more than they chew right through them, you guess the rest. You guys can clap if you don't know Electrocution, the man, they fry. Yeah. And what you get next is flaming squirrels in the Lord sky. <laughs> Better watch for flaming squirrels in the sky. Squirrels in the sky. Okay. Okay. Try not the powerful but here's catch the fire and they die. All right, we, we got you. Let's kill the, whole the car burnt. The flaming squirrel landed on the car and, and, and burned and caused a fire. And now she, you know what I mean? That's an attack right there. Did and she then, crash? Huh? No, no, no. She. I don't even think she was in it. It was parked. <laughs> but if you go <laughs> to California... <laughs> Uh, well, you think about it. You're driving and the squirrel's on fire. You learn the thing. You're going to go, ah! Dude, you could lose control. I'm just saying. Dude. In, in Southern California, uh, Redding, uh, California firefighters say a squirrel set off a blaze when it shorted out a power line, caught fire, and dropped into dry vegetation. Ooh. i got to so, tell you, flaming squirrels don't surprise me Yeah, because they're always going after nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and I'm, all I'm saying is nice now, not only are they attacking us, but they are actually on fire. <laughs> I'm coming with two today, you know what I mean? What oh. is that burning sting? Roadkill likes this one. It's not a rat, <laughs> pigeon, or a mink. <laughs> Thank you. It's a rodent that touched a wire. Roadkill on the trumpets, ladies and yes. gentlemen. Thank you. And has turned into a squirrel on fire. Oh, I saw the chorus. It's turned into a burning squirrel on fire. Yeah, who fell down, down, down after touching a hot wire. Yeah. And it burns, burns, burns. Thank you very much. That squirrel on fire. Yeah. That squirrel on fire. Thank you. So there you go. A couple of burns, burns, right, burns. There you go. How they get so many nuts that in their mouth. Okay. Fire. <laughs> that squirrel's on fire. Thank you. Oh. All right. <laughs> they just keep pushing the nuts in. I know. I got a mouthful of nuts. I got you. There you go. <laughs>